Hi guys, welcome back to this channel, and um, this is my second video of today. Um, um, like when I did my first video of the day, it was like once, like three, yeah, and now it is six ten. So, yeah, but um, I let Alexis go swimming. So she went swimming. You know, Sunny. Um, seems like it's about to get bad outside, but hopefully it's not. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make baby alive stuff for. Oh my gosh, for your baby alive dog. So basically, first I'm gonna show you how to make a diaper. It's very simple and easy. All you need is like a washcloth and a one of the um one of the large safety pins. So once again it's very simple. Sorry guys you can't see me right now. Because I was in the door. But, yeah, and this is reusable. So, yeah. Take your baby. Hold on. I'm sorry, Alexis. I gotta put this right here. Okay, so let me put my baby. So here she is. Um, I am probably about to change. Well, I have to change her. I'm gonna give her a bath in a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna. These are um, underwear, but these are for like another baby. I just put them on her because she didn't have like a diaper. So, so first of all, you want to take your cloth and then fold it this way. Once you have it folded that way, some of you guys might already know this trick, but yeah. Um, so then, like, put your baby's bottom on it, and then. I'm sorry guys um, it will take a while until you like Okay, guys, so I cannot get this open. I'm sorry. Doll. Alright, there we go. Now I can put it on. And then you have your um, diaper, and once again, it is reusable. So, yeah, if you want it to be a little bit tighter, um, I recommend mine tighter because it's a little bit big. But yeah. this is kind of ugly to me. It's ugly to me, so I'm just gonna go with the diapers that I was with. Um, how did I make these? I just cut a sock and then um, I put like the pad at the bottom so she actually can use it in there. 
bathroom. Okay, so she's not gonna wear this because this is just you no know, too much. So, but yeah, that's how you make the other diaper. That's how you make this one as well. But now, um, there it is. Hold on, but now I'm gonna show you how to make a little pacifier. So, oh, sorry guys. So, first of all, what you will need is, let me get it, some paper. So, I have this piece of paper. But anyway, um, yeah, you'll need a piece of paper, um, some cardboard. I'm making a lot of them, so I have a lot of cardboard. Some scissors, and Last but not least, some glue. So, yeah, first of all, you, oh yeah, and the straw, let me go get my straw. You should use any size, it depends on where your baby mouth is. But, yeah, sure. But first of all, you're going to start off the cardboard. And then you're gonna cut out like a square that's kind of bigger than your um, baby's mouth. Just like something that you think will be bigger. I don't think I know this is gonna be bigger. So, yeah, I know this is gonna be bigger. Okay, so I cut it into like a, a, a perfect circle. Once again, like make it the shape that you want it to be. So. Okay, so yeah, I think that'll be pretty good. Have it like that, and then take your straw. Like you can kind of like fold it until you know it, you, until you know it can fit in your baby alive doll's mouth. So yes, this will fit. Okay, so I just cut it like that much. Then I'll be like.
Jesus Christ. We could not do it without him. Before he got to the man behind the van, we sat down with Gustavo and his associate, Kelly Wainwright. Now I spent a good part of the day with him. Okay, so... Yeah, this star is way too, like, skinny. So I'm going to go get a bigger star. Okay, guys, so I have this huge straw now. Um, this fits right, so. Trying to make some mittens in it. Okay, so then you hit. Okay. Okay, that was very hard to take. I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter because it needs to be shorter than that. Okay, that literally just went across the house. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Well, yeah, I just glued the straw onto the piece of cardboard. And now they can the straw. And um, then cut out a piece of paper. And then uh, color it in with the color pencil. Your baby, the color your baby live likes. She does it. Yes, well, she likes blue, so. She likes pink as well. But her pink is her most favorite color. She just wanted a blue pacifier. And I said, I'm not about to spend that. Because it's too much money for um, a pacifier. Literally, a pacifier. So, okay. And then I have my piece of paper. Once again, once you have your piece of paper. Then you can take regular glue and not super glue. I use, yeah, because I use super glue. So, like I told you guys, I am making a lot of the pacifiers. So, for this time, for this one, I'm using a different stick of time. Yeah, this will just be like that. So then, yes, if you're going to use, like, paper for this, you want to put some um, cardboard at the bottom of it so it won't you know, be flapping like that. This stuff. So I'm going to probably make this for a different baby, and I might just take a magnet because I have some magnet and my other baby. She needs a magnet, so let me go get the magnet. Okay, yeah, how to make a magnet pacifier. Take some paper, put it on top of a piece of cardboard, and then take a magnet and glue it on there, basically. And it's simple. Like, very simple. People, some people make it hard as it is. Harder than what it is. And making, and making a magnet pacifier is not that hard. You just want to let your magnet dry. Like, simple. So I have two pacifiers. I have I have a magnet one. And I have this one. But you want to let that glue dry because um, if you don't let it dry, it will fall off. Hmm. Yeah, that's how you make stuff basically, and um, 
my second video, I'll probably teach you how to make swimsuits and like onesies and stuff. So like, yeah, I made like a mermaid tail for her. She has a lot of them. I made a lot of them because she wanted mermaid tails. So, yeah. But that's how you do it. So, yeah. Um, basically. And you guys, it, um, I'm going to put, like, some socks on her. But I'm about to put her in the tub right now. So, peace.